me Dot and I'm back with another video. This time it's going to be a little bit different. Um, It's not going to be a hair video. So if you were looking for hair, I'm so sorry. But judging by the title of this video, I'm going to be telling you guys a little bit of what it's like starting a YouTube channel. Um, I have my hand in a notebook right here with some nice little notes. I wrote everything down so I can stay a little focused. But um, yeah, I'm going to just tell you all what this is like because if you're thinking about starting a channel, Look, it's a lot of stuff they don't tell you, or they tell you, but you kind of take for granted. But no, I'm about to tell you right now what you need to, what you need to look out for. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about is finding your motivation to start your channel. I know a lot of times people are just like, "Oh, I'm gonna start my channel after I get the right equipment. I'm gonna start my channel after I figure out what I'm gonna do it about. I'm gonna start my channel after I, you know, finish class or next month or next year or next week or." The best advice I can give you is to just go ahead and start it now. Don't waste any time trying to overthink things or you know anything like that. Just go ahead and start your channel now. <laughs> Get it popping. Because if it's something that you really want to do, why are you waiting for everything to fall perfectly in line for you to do it? Just start it and everything else will fall into place. So that's the first thing I gotta say. But along with that, I will say that make sure that starting a channel is something you want to do. Um, Without the money, without the hype, without the clout of doing YouTube or whatever, if that's a thing, um, just do it for you and do it because you want to have a channel. Because let me tell y'all something, the motivation to do this stuff, to mo the motivation to film, to edit, to record, to all of that, the motivation to do it definitely leaves. It's not always there. So if you're not motivated, <laughs> then it's hard to put out content. So a good motivator would be to um, actually do stuff that you care about and you know that you're passionate about. So if you're not passionate about doing it, if maybe you're doing it for the money or doing it for something else, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, I would do it because you like to do it, not because you, you know, think so you're gonna get something out of it. Another thing I want to talk about is like one of the first things you need to know is the fact that you get such a great confidence boost from doing YouTube. Like I know that um, the few videos that I have posted, the comments that I get from you guys and the feedback that I've been getting from you guys is such a confidence builder and it really like helps you because when you first start doing YouTube, it's really awkward. <laughs> it's just a really awkward thing to sit in your room or sit wherever you're filming and stare at a camera and talk or do whatever you're gonna do for it because it feels like, what am I doing this for? Who am I doing this for? the camera myself nobody's watching it and that's exactly how you're gonna feel at first but and it's really awkward and it's weird really weird and confusing but once you get past it once you post that video once you finally get out there and you're like my video's out oh my god people start commenting and you get this feedback and it's really like a back and forth and you realize you are doing it for someone someone is watching you even if it's one person so yeah just don't let the awkward start stop you from starting because it will. It stopped me a few times. The second thing I want to talk about is your equipment. So I know a lot of people, including myself, definitely including myself, feel like you need certain equipment to do YouTube or to start your channel. Um, and I will say that, like I said, I felt the same way. I felt like I had to have a fancy camera. I had to have all the lights. I had to have, you know, the ring lights and the just all of it, the studio equipment, everything. But I ended up not starting with any of that and still kind of started my channel, still making videos. And all I had was my phone and the window. <laughs> and I used it, but I made it work. And that's how I started. And so now, along the way, I've kind of picked up other other things, which um, I'll, which I plan on filming another video just about my YouTube setup, and that'll be coming out soon. But yeah, I literally picked up a, a few things along the way, and I still do not anywhere near have what I want to have. But it's not stopping me from doing my channel, from putting out my content, from actually doing it. So, yeah. Don't let equipment stop you. The next thing I want to talk about is social media. Social media. Because, honestly, I felt like me doing YouTube would literally just me be me on YouTube. I didn't think that it would stretch to other platforms. But I'm finding out that... One of the most important parts about doing YouTube is having access to the other platforms, to Twitter, to Instagram, to Facebook, to everything else. Because not only do you have this channel, but you also need to promote this channel. So it's really like a business thing. It's really marketing. Because 
you have to market your channel to um, other platforms, to your followers on other platforms. Maybe you have zero subscribers on YouTube, but a thousand followers on um, Instagram. How are those a thousand followers gonna know to watch your YouTube channel if you don't post it on Instagram? So, just learning things like that along the way has been very, very interesting to me. I'm actually loving learning stuff about that. But that is one thing that I will say. If you're not a big social media person, you either need to learn it, <laughs> get into it, sis, or just kind of keep it moving because um, social media is a big part of this, apparently. I, for one, was not a big social media person at all. I didn't really use my Instagram as much. I would post like one picture every month, if that. And I would go, I just kind of went on my feet and liked other people's pictures, but I never use it to the extent of which, you know, I have to now. I post so much now and it's still kind of uncomfortable because I just don't really like to be on social media as much. But while we're talking about social media, you might as well pause, whip out your phone, <laughs> and follow me on Instagram at dot com d a u t c o m. If you're here, you already know it's dot com. So go ahead, follow me on Instagram at dot com. Follow me on Twitter at underscore dot com, and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell below so you can get updates on my videos. Next tip. The next thing I want to talk about is the money thing. So, um. If you're in this for money, if you're trying to do this for money, if you're like, I need some money, so I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. Because it does look like influencers get paid so much on YouTube. Ugh. I watch certain YouTubers and I'm just like, how do they afford this lifestyle? She's literally like 20, I'm 21, struggling. She got a whole house. How I'm gonna do this? Just from YouTube? Definitely have had the same thoughts, definitely thought about the same things and like, yes, I'm gonna make a channel. That wasn't why I made my channel, but I'm telling you that, that put some fire under it. I'm telling you that. But um, the money is not immediate thing. It's not one of those things that's just like, you start your channel and you immediately start making money. It actually takes a lot of work to make money on here as I have not made any, but I'm still here. So, but yeah, I definitely wouldn't get into it um, just for the money part because the money is not something that's just like, Immediate is not something that is super secure, especially not in the beginning. So I definitely wouldn't do it just for money because so much goes into this to not get any money for it at first. So I would do it again, like I said before earlier in the video, I would do it because you actually love to do it and not because you want to get paid for it. And that's that on that. Now, here we go. The very last and final thing that you need to know about starting a YouTube channel is, can I get a drum roll please? The time commitment. The time commitment for this stuff is crazy, especially as a college student, especially, ugh, just have so much to do, especially as a graduating college student. Not having the time for this is such a thing, like, YouTube takes so much time because you have to film, you have to edit, you have to post about it, you have to respond to stuff, you have to just all this stuff, plan new content, all of that. It's just a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And literally it's one of the biggest time commitments I've ever had to kind of endure. Now, I will say that I enjoy doing it so that it does make it easier to do, but the time and energy that is spent on just YouTube alone and like the time that I spend just thinking about it is super crazy like it's so much time so if you feel like you have the time i would say go ahead start that channel but if you are someone who is having a hard time finding out when to sleep during the day you might want to wait on that channel sis because whoo this is a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot but i do enjoy it um one of the things that makes it such a big time commitment though is one the planning of content because they said that you should have like at least 30 videos planned out at any given time. And I'm just like, 30 videos? I don't even know what I'm gonna eat tonight for dinner. You want me to plan four months in advance my videos? I think not. But it makes sense to have content planned and it's so easy to get into like a creative like block where you're just like, what do I post about? What do my subscribers wanna see? What do my followers wanna see? Are people sick of me? Should I even keep continuing to do this? Like, what do they want? What do they want? What do they want? And it's literally such a big thing. It's such a big thing trying to figure out like, how, just how to do it in general or like what to put out next. So 
definitely I would say that that's a challenge and um, but it's a key is to plan it all out and to kind of like I put everything in my notebook I plan out all my videos and stuff um, what I want to do things like that before and um, but I generally just do not have the, the time to put it out for me it's not planning content that's the problem it's filming and editing that's the problem really just editing y'all editing is crazy and paying for your editor is also crazy but editing yourself literally takes so much time so I think that's the biggest part of the time commitment is the editing because say you sit down you're like I'm gonna film this video and you film the video and it literally sits on your phone or your camera on whatever you film the video on for weeks for days because you're just like I do not want to edit it literally takes hours and what time, what day between my homework, my extracurriculars, planning for graduation, what I'm supposed to do after graduation, calling my mom, when, when eating, sleeping, when am I supposed to edit a video? <laughs> so that's definitely a thing. And if you feel like you don't have the time and you don't feel like you can block out the time, maybe you should just wait. Maybe you should wait. But with that being said, I do want to end this video off on a good note. If you want to start that channel, if you feel like, oh my God, I've always wanted to have a channel. I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel. They look so cool on YouTube. I believe I can be good at it. Do it. Freaking start that channel because don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. Don't let nobody tell you, I don't know, sis, you don't, you don't look like a YouTuber. They be doing all this stuff. I don't think you can do all that. Don't let nobody tell you that. Start that channel if you want to start that channel. Period. Because can't nobody tell you you can't do nothing. Don't let don't get in your own head and feel like you can't do it. Don't overthink it. Just do it. I'm talking about full Nike, y'all. Full Nike. Just do it. Don't let nobody stop you from doing it. Just do it. And honestly, weigh the pros and cons if you have to, all this stuff. It's really fun. I will say I'm so enjoying it. It's a lot of work, but I enjoy it. I love it so much. And um, yeah, I love it when y'all talk to me. I love it when learning stuff about the social media, just about the business aspect of it. There's so much to learn, so much to do. So if you want to start it, start it. Do it because it's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. But yeah, so if you made it to the end of this video, you are the bond.com you already know make sure you like this video thumbs up go ahead and comment down below because um i like to talk to y'all and i hope y'all like to talk to me and i hope that this video was helpful if this was helpful in any way please let me know down in the comments below if you guys like this kind of content i'll keep doing it just let me know hello so yeah y'all stay tuned for the next video and i'll see you then bye guys